Hey guys, we're live on Saturn. <laughs> and it's early, 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 Monday morning, about 0039, the 5th of March. And I've been uh, fiddling with this thing for a little bit. And I decided I was just going to go live and, and show you what I got. I have a Barlow in there, a 2.5 Pyramate Barlow on top of a 19mm uh, a Teleview Pan Optic lens. Autofocus is off. I'm using, uh, controls are all manual. And I basically uh, focused it with the focuser, motorized focuser. And I've fiddled with the controls to the point where I'm not going to fiddle with them anymore. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show you this image. It's really a remarkable image. Uh, I think that uh, based on what I can see here, uh, it's a it's not a very good night, number one. The stars are very, very, they're not very bright. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because the moon is out. The moon is still out. And I think for me to really bring out the colors in the ring, and the rings, you, you can barely see them there. I mean, you can see color in the rings, but not, not with clarity. And I think it's it's getting washed out very simply because of the uh, the moon. Let me turn the color intensity. For example, I turn it up. You can see I'll, I'll turn it down a little bit. And you can see I got it about 50% right now. If I turn it all the way down, see how there's no color at all. And if I turn it about 50%, uh, you can you can see the color but not with uh, a lot of intensity and that is again because the moon is out in the I had a hell of a time I couldn't do a three-star alignment because I couldn't really see very many stars and that, that should tell you I mean I can see Saturn I can see if I go out on the back porch and I'm inside my cozy house right now it's cold as hell outside <laughs> And uh, and I uh, I tried to do a three star alignment and I mean I worked my butt off, but uh, there's only like uh, you go out on the porch and look at the stars. There's only five visible stars, so that'll give you an idea. I'm working with a real real bad night, but I did pretty good for for a, having a bad a bad night. The moon was real good tonight. Uh, and I can't see Saturn, but it's not as bright as it I think could be. I mean, there's some nights you go out on the porch, I can see the zillions of stars. I can only see, you know, five, six, seven stars. I don't know, not very many at all. Bright stars. You can see more when you put your, you know, your, your lens in, but still, that'll give you an idea. The moon is washing out the night, but that's a pretty good image of Saturn, guys. And if I was a drinking man, I crack. I definitely crack open a bottle of scotch. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will give you a real good idea of where I can go with this thing. I think I can do Saturn. I can do it even bigger than this. I I should be able to make it twice as big as this on this screen uh, by putting uh, another Barlow in there. But I'm not going to do it tonight. I I, lead, I like to do this stuff and with baby steps baby steps guys because uh, it you know it's a this is a, a tricky stuff you see me fiddling around on the moon getting worth the colors and everything else there's an art to this and you have to practice and the planets are even more difficult than the moon but I will eventually you can see that if you look at that real close around the edge of, of Saturn you'll see the uh, you know the different colors on on the edge, and you can somewhat see some stripes in the in, in 
in the ball. It's really pretty good for a bad hair night. It's it's really uh, it's really pretty good. Let me uh, do one more thing. Uh, if I don't, if I lose it, lose it. <laughs> I'm trying to go down. Come on, go down, go down, go down. Okay. See, that's <laughs> just. The telescope's getting high, too high in the sky for me to keep it under control. But, but guys, this has been a pretty good uh, night. I had a real good moon session, and I think for uh, for all it is, this is not bad. Let me let me do one more thing. I'll try to manually focus it again. See, it's out of focus. Out of focus. You can see it's. It's a. That's pretty good. Now let me go down to the camera focus and see if I can. Now, see, you can see it's just about. We need it to be just, just a little bit brighter for us to bring out the colors and the rings, and the color on the. Uh, this is a gas planet on the ball. I think if the moon wasn't out right now, next time I try this on Saturn, I think I'm going to do it whenever the, on the dark of the moon, you know, when the, the moon is dark, the stars are bright, and everybody's happy, and I'll be able to see some rings on Saturn itself, and in the rings, I'll be able to see the, the, the color, the colors. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. Next shot of this is going to be on a full, uh, on a, on the dark moon, and I think that'll give us a a real good shot at seeing the color. And I'm going to also, when I do that, I'll put in another barlow, and I'll I'll get twice as big. Believe it or not, twice as big will almost fill that screen up with Saturn. That'll be pretty cool. Okay. Two videos in one night. Wow. <laughs> I hope this inspires you astronomers to get out there and try this. Uh, and, and believe it or not, this is pretty tough to do on a video camera. I mean, it's pretty tough. Uh, but that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. In the meantime, I wish you and yours clear skies, guys.